The president-elect Naneko Fuadu says his administration will target double-digit GDP growth throughout his tenure in office. According to him, this will be anchored on the one district, one factory policy, rural, coastal and northern and Zongo development funds to bring this into reality. Naneko Fuadu, who was speaking at the annual general meeting of the Private Enterprise Foundation, PEF in Accra said these projects coupled with a number of tax reductions his government will roll out will empower the private sector to engineer growth and create employment for Ghanaians. New patriotic party during the general elections premised its campaign on job creation through the establishment of one factory in every district of the country. The party also said it will give every constituency one million dollars to facilitate developmental projects at the local level. According to the party, the high taxes imposed on businesses stifles economic growth, so it will review the tax regime when it assumes office on January 7, 2017. To this end, the president-elect Naneku Fado was invited by the Private Enterprise Foundation to spell out his vision and how the private sector can be involved in implementing the manifesto promises. The Chief Executive Officer of Private Enterprise Foundation, Nana Osebunsu, outlined higher taxes, a reliable power supply, high cost of credit, and stable currency, among others, as the factors that has militated against the growth of the private sector. The President elect Naneku Fado said the MPP's agenda in government will focus on transforming Ghana into the most friendly business society in Africa. And this will be achieved through the restoration of macroeconomic stability shifting the focus of the economy from taxation to production and ensuring fiscal discipline. When this is done, the debt burden will be reduced and will free resources for the private sector to borrow to grow businesses in the country. We aim to achieve double-digit GDP growth annually for the next four years. And this is possible if you remember that under the Kufo-led MPP government, the economy attained a GDP growth rate of 9.1% in 2008 without oil. We will reduce the cost of doing business, maintain fiscal discipline, reduce government borrowing, and reduce interest rates to spur private sector investment. He said the MPP government will roll out policies targeted at creating jobs in order to help fight poverty. To attain a competitive economy, that is capable of producing sustainable growth, jobs and shared benefits for all. Two key stakeholders must play their role. First, the government, by setting the environment and climate to allow private sector to flourish. And secondly, the private sector to have the confidence to exploit all the opportunities offered by such a business-friendly environment. Once it's in government, our priority is to do all we can to give you the confidence of a positive business environment, devoid of arbitrary and irrational policy initiatives, and one that gives you the confidence to do what you should do best, invest in the numerous opportunities to create jobs and prosperity. To achieve our objectives, our principal economic policy direction will be to restore macroeconomic stability, shift the focus of economic management from taxation to production, manage the economy competently, and make the machinery of government work to deliver the benefits of progress to Ghanaians. On the awarding of contract, Naneku Fadu was emphatic that his administration would do away with the recent phenomenon of sole sourcing and will ensure that 70% of government contracts are given to local businesses. We will introduce a policy requiring the 30% of the required 70% to be sourced from enterprise entities owned by women, persons with disability and those established under the Youth Enterprise Fund. My government will work with stakeholders, including employers and trades unions, in, in hopefully in an open and fair manner on employee welfare, as well as ensuring living wages for all workers. We intend to develop in collaboration with employers, trades unions, 
educational institutions and other state bodies such as SNET, a database of the labor market with a view to establishing a national recruitment agency to serve as the primary source for channeling job openings to Ghanaians. We will also work with employers and trade unions to formulate a policy of comp comp comprehensive occupational health and safety standards. Nanado said the MPP has a comprehensive blueprint which by the end of his first tenure in 2020 will help put Ghana on the global industrialization map and not a raw material export nation.